Okay guys, here's another quick video. I'm going to show you a little trick that I've just put together recently. Actually a couple minutes ago. So check this out. That's just a background beat. This is an acapella. If it would zoom in and proper focus. Go in the MIDI mode. Okay, so as you saw, that was pretty goddamn cool. I don't give a shit who you are. <laughs> that was wild. So I'm going to show you how that's done. This is what the preferences window looks like. Um, you know what? My videos aren't exactly for the beginner. You have to know a little something about this shit because I'm not going to start right from the get go. You know what I mean? Like, I do teach this stuff, so hopefully it's my guys that I've taught that look at this stuff and they know what I'm talking about. So, anyways, for all you noobs, Let's go, uh, come on, yep, go click on that goddamn thing right there. That's your preferences, pull up your preferences, go down to your controller manager, and when you open your controller manager, let's see if we can do this. It's kind of difficult, should be running a better system than this shit. But, you're going to go down to add, you're going to call it a generic MIDI, which I've already done, right? In the import, you want to pick your Tractor S4 because this is what we're working on. This will work on, you know, any controller, so you just pick your controller, right? Simple. Outport, same thing. Pick your controller. So, you want to go to Add In. And this Unit Effects thing button, we're going to not even bother with that shit. You know what I mean? I don't really need it. So, my first thing that I'm looking at is a knob. So the way I got that knob one, knob one corresponds to this knob over here. The knob that runs, this would be the knob, that's knob one on your effects, right? So that's running the beat master. So that's where we're grabbing that. When it's in the middle, we're grabbing, you know, like two, two bars. Four bars, two bars, you know, and then you take up, you glitch it out. So... Pretty simple. Look under effects, knob one, we got knob one picked, which we already have here. So with knob one, all I did was I said learn, and I just went over to my controller. This is touch sensitive, it's like a little button, and I just pushed it. And when I pushed it, that stuff came up there. I uncheck learn, I go down, and because this is an encoder, an encoder means it spins in circles forever and ever and ever. I'm telling I want the assignment to be FX2. I changed my rotary sensitivity to 124. You can adjust it any way you like. And interaction mode is relative. So that's relative to wherever I spin it is where it's going to be. If you want to check that, as soon as you uncheck the learn command, you can go up there, you can start spinning. And as you can see, here's the deal. That does that. Because you need to put it into MIDI mode. Shift, browse. So now that part of it only works on an S4 because S4 is the only one that can do the hid mode and do MIDI mode, so it can do both. So every button on here now, I can make it do something different. So that opens a whole lot of possibilities. So now, when I move in this, you hear nothing, but when you look at the beat master, you see the beat master is moving around. So it's really no different than me running with the knob. 
if I, I can't run the knob because the knob isn't assigned to that in this mode, but it does give a more of a, a feel of the, the rhythm and the groove of you're doing stuff than a knob does, you know what I mean? Do you want to be a knob twiddler or do you want to be like a scratch mix guy? But you don't know how to scratch mix, that's kind of like me. That's like most of us. God damn you scratch mixers. You know who I'm talking about. So anyways, so then the next command I'm doing is the button. So I would go add in, I'm under the effects unit, and what I'm telling this to do is button two, that is button, sorry, we're on button one I mean, <laughs> that's button one, and that turns the beat masher on and off. Which, so that's what we want to do. So I would select that, button one, I tell it to learn, once again, I go over here, I press that down there. I sound like a goddamn Newfie, I'm sure of it. But anyways, I'm not. I am from Canada though, so that might explain my stupid accent. And um, I go to type of controller is a button, and I only want that button to turn on when I hold it. So I'm gonna go down and select hold. And of course, make sure it says effects unit two. Uncheck the learn command. Last one is I want it so when I press down, look where this thing is, right? But when I press down, it automatically resets into the middle. So every time I press this, I'm grabbing exactly those bop bop, those two, you know, the two bars. I have two bars and when I pull it back, I know I got my four, my two, I can go one. I have a lot of control over that. And I do it a lot with the knobs myself, but this is definitely more fun. So it's definitely worth doing it. So, what I did there, I go to add in, sorry, here we go. Effects, pretty simple. Knob one, again, we've already done knob one before. I tell it to learn. I press down on my controller again, for my jog wheel. And this time, I'm telling this thing, Well, we already have it in there. We're kind of doing it all over again. So I want it to be a button. I want it to be direct. That's usually at zero zeros. Oh, zeros. 0.5 is the halfway mark. So that's where I want it. And I'm telling it to be a button, be direct. So directly put that knob halfway when I press it. And it does. So I kind of put that in there twice. I can just go in there and just delete it because I don't need it. Same with this unit on button. Don't really need to have that mapped, it's not that important. What that does is tell the unit to be on. So what you all you want to really do is when you're running this stuff, and don't forget the all important, export that stuff out and save it so you don't lose it, right? Okay. Sorry, just kind of uh, checking things out here, wondering why this hasn't this window hasn't shut down. Give me one second, guys. Okay, guys, we just had a little bit of technical difficulty there. The new Tractor 2.6.3 has had some crashing issues on me. So, do I highly recommend it? Not quite at this very moment. If I had to go do something really important where I was really concerned, I'd probably be sticking with my 2.6.2, maybe, maybe even 2.6.1, I don't know, don't take my word for it, might be my, I got a real giant library and every time I seem to be analyzing music, that seems to burn it. Anyways, back to what we were getting on here. So, with that mapping, gotta go into MIDI mode. So anyways, you always got to make sure to take it back out of MIDI mode, or you have no control over your stuff, right? So there it is. That, um, 
And that's what it is, man. So hopefully that little trick helps you out, let you have a little bit of fun. If you have any questions about it, um, go ahead and uh, shoot me an email, uh, leave a comment. Try and like the video. If you do like it, do a like. Spread it around. Make it go viral. Do something cool. Anyways, uh, that was the Nookie, and I'm out.